What's up, everyone? It's Ruby here. Bring guys another video. So today, we're going to talk about my honest thoughts on Fallout 4. And just Fallout as a series. Okay? Because as I've said before, it is very... My relationship with Skyrim and Elder Scrolls is very different to my relation with Fallout. Because they, while they are very similar in ways, they are also very different. And <clears throat> I've always been more of a fantasy person than a sci-fi post-apocalyptic person. Not that I'm against sci-fi, but it's a different relationship. I definitely prefer stuff like Harry Potter and Percy Jackson over stuff like Hunger Games and um, Divergent. Um, or, I mean, I do like The Giver a lot. It's actually one that I don't actually mind. But sort of the, <clears throat> the futuristic, post-apocalyptic type stuff. I can't say that I've read so, too much about too many stories regarding that. Because I just don't have interest there. I've tried to, and I can't name any titles off the top of my head that actually fit Fallout genre, but it just never has gotten me going. Just like, like I've read all of the King Arthur stories and the uh, Merlin and just like Camelot and Narnia <clears throat> and just so many fantasy books and fantasy stories in general. And I've always had more of an attraction to them. Now movies, it's a whole different ball game. Movies, it really depends. Um, I don't, I like Star Trek. I like Star Wars to a degree. Um, like, I like movies. Like, sci-fi movies, I tend to actually enjoy more than sci-fi, <clears throat> like, books or, like, stories in general. But in, when it comes to video games, it really depends. For example, I actually enjoy Detroit, uh, which we'll talk about that one in a later video when we talk about my honest thoughts on Detroit Become Human after I complete... All of Detroit Become Human. But I don't know if I'm going to complete all of it. But I'm working on getting it done off stream. I'm trying to find as many paths as possible. It's so long of a game. If you actually go and try and get everything. It is such a long game. My goodness. <laughs> because it's not just the first playthrough. It's just trying to find all of the paths. And trying to gather up everything. Um, and that'll be an interesting video to do because I have so many thoughts on all of that. But that's for a different video. So let's get down to Fallout. What do I think about Fallout? Now, I've had an interesting relationship with first-person shooters. And no, Fallout is not a first-person shooter. But it relates because when it comes to games with guns, it's very different for me. Versus when it comes to a game about with swords or uh, those types of weapons, I I have like a, a an interesting like soft spot for swords. Like almost always, if I'm playing a game for the first time <clears throat> and I can play with a sword, I will go for that. There's something about going with like a cutlass or like a, just some type of sword. And shield that I've always enjoyed. My first Skyrim playthrough was with a sword 
and a bow and arrow. Sword and shield, bow and arrow. It was Khajiit. I remember it to this day. Uh, and it was a sort of sneak build, but it was also a warrior build. It was, it was kind of like a jack of all trades, to be honest. Um, but I've always, almost always, in my first playthroughs for any game that is like fantasy or like that sort of thing, I've almost always gone with sword and shield. It, it's it's hard to name one where I haven't. Um, I really can't because, I mean, the first playthrough, I almost always go with Warrior. So when it comes to games like Fallout, it's different because obviously there's no swords. It would be interesting if they did implement swords into, or like, more like sort of like melee weapons versus um, all of the the guns that they have but um so fallout was a game that i came in late to i have not really played fallout 3 or fallout new vegas i have a little bit but i got like part way through fallout 3 and i just couldn't continue there is something about fallout that I just don't enjoy as much as Elder Scrolls. I can't necessarily say exactly what it is. I think it's just mainly just the genre in general. Like for for Skyrim, for a game like Skyrim, I can come up with a million different builds that are actually feel different. Like you can be a mage, you can be a warrior, you can do you can be a, a thief, you can be an assassin, you can be you can do, uh, you can be sneaky, you can be not sneaky, you can be a warrior, you can be, you can do heavy, you can do light armor, you can do destruction, illusion, alteration, there's so many different builds, you can do alchemy, you could do a merchant, you could do a, a, a drug dealer, you could do a, uh, there's so much you can do in Skyrim if you have the right mods and you have, you know, just the right sort of ideas. I have a whole spreadsheet dedicated to Skyrim builds. I have a whole spreadsheet with over 60 builds that I can do and more. Right, those are not all the builds that you can do. There's so many more. Like all, I sometimes like, I love watching like the the fudge my bit, and at least I used to, with their with their Skyrim builds because it just shows that there's so many, and they also do Fallout builds as well. But for me, I've always been interested in the why am I wearing these? Um, I've always been interested in the um. In the Skyrim builds more than the Fallout builds. Because, let's be honest, okay? The Fallout builds amount to this. Guns, 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 guns. And different kinds of guns. But for, at, the, at the end of the day, they're all guns. And while they are different builds, they're not different play styles. Not really, anyways. I mean, yes, you can do a melee build, but who the hell is going to do a melee build in these types of games, right? Um, and it's just, like, it gets boring. And especially with, like, Fallout 4, I would say, has, like, the most to do. But also not at the same time. Like, I don't... I've never really been able to get into Fallout 4 or Fallout three or fallout new vegas it's just never been a thing for me like i don't know if it's like the mods well no it's not the mods because there's plenty of mods that are good it's just that i don't know i think it's really just the game in general because we're doing a fallout week <laughs> this week and we just got done with like the first two days and I'm already bored. 
I've been trying to get back into Fallout because I want to, I want to, like, do this for my stream. But I can't. And uh, so, Thursday, we're going to be playing Fallout 76 to see, like, where it's at right now. And I'm scared <laughs> because I don't know if I'm going to like it. I bought it again. <laughs> I bought it when it was on sale on Steam. And I bought it again. I bought the Wastelanders one too. And I'm I'm nervous. <laughs> because, you know, did I just waste my money? Or am I actually going to enjoy it? Um, I think just Fallout in general is just not for me. I think I'll be more interested in Starfield and what that is. Because for me, when it comes to sci-fi, I definitely enjoy the more, like, futuristic space sort of thing over post-apocalyptic. I've never, I can't name a single story that I've read where there's been a post-apocalyptic sort of story that I've actually enjoyed. I can't name one. Or a movie, even. Not just, not, not, not just books, but movies. Like, movies I tend to enjoy the most because, like, all you can do is watch, but most of the po post apocalyptic sort of movies bore the heck out of me. I just can't. I've always been, I think I've always been fantasy over sci-fi, but even more, I've always been not a huge fan of post apocalyptic Like, I will take Star Trek over... I don't know, Zombieland. Like, Zombieland is enjoyable. Okay, that's a terrible that's a terrible example because actually Zombieland is actually kind of funny and enjoyable. But, you know, there's... Like, zombie movies, like, I don't really enjoy. Because, one, a lot of the characters end up being really dumb. And two, it's just not for me. Like, I would not... Like, I would take... Um... Frick, what... what? I don't know, Dexter's Laboratory over Walking Dead. And no, I don't like Walking Dead. Um, I watched, like, the first season of Walking Dead. And I was just not interested. It's not for me. I'm not, again, like, I'm not, I'm not really, like, that sort of, um, I'm not really a zombie person. I'm not really, like, a post-apocalyptic person. So why I've never played like The Last of Us, it's why I've never played Left 4 Dead, or uh, like I in I do enjoy stuff like Nazi Zombies, like Call of Duty, but that's because we're just shooting zombies, like we're literally just shooting zombies and nothing else, and it, like it's a game mode, it's not a whole story. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't really enjoy a whole story of Call of Duty Zombies because like. I just want to kill zombies. That I'm down for that. I'm down for that. I'm just not down to have a whole story wrapped around zombies. I've never really enjoyed zombie stories. And it's interesting. Because I like the sort of like idea of zombies. But not like zombie stories or zombie like games. Like I really haven't. And it's not that I'm scared of them, because I'm not. I really am not. <laughs> um, it's more so that I just get bored of them. Because, let's be honest, okay? Most games, zombies are either really good or really bad. <laughs> um, there's, not, like, there's, like, no in-between. Um, same with Resident Evil, even. That's why I've never really played Resident Evil, because I believe it's mostly zombies. And I just don't enjoy that. I just don't. I never have. I am. I can't name one s movie, one story that I've really enjoyed that had zombies or s that sort of thing happening. Like even like the Red Dead Redemption thing that came out, the DLC or whatever. Didn't enjoy it. I like that we got to spend time with our son, with uh, John Marston's son and wife, like for two seconds. But I didn't enjoy the overall thing happening. 
Like, I never actually, like, finished it because, like, I just got bored of it. Until Dawn is a different story. That's a Wind and Goes. Um, like, but then again, I've never technically played it. I just have watched it and I've actually enjoyed it. Um, and I think I actually would play something like Until Dawn if it came out on PC. Uh, that wasn't attached to Epic Games. Um, it's just... I don't know. I've just never really enjoyed those types of games. And so, like, I've never really been able to have a solid relationship with Fallout. Like, just in general. So, those are my honest thoughts on my Fallout. I don't really enjoy the series. And it's... Like, I can... I get, like, this, like, short thrill for getting back into, like, Fallout 4. But then it, go, it disappears like that. So we've been d- trying to do this like Fallout week. Because I've been wanting to actually get back into Fallout. But I just can't. I don't know why. Um, but yeah. Those are my honest thoughts about Fallout. The gist of it, I just don't like this genre. So I hope you guys enjoyed and peace out guys. It's been a blast.